The other day we took a look at something that looked very similar to this. It was a Sega Genesis clone console. And you may have guessed just by looking at this as it only has two buttons and maybe by the shape of this cartridge slot here, this is the NES version. I find this thing interesting. It's an NES clone console that is multi-purpose. You could probably tell by the form factor or if you watched my previous video that this can be a standalone clone console or it can be used to mod into an arcade one up machine and turn it into an NES interface it so you just use the screen that's built in all that good stuff. Now this is a prototype has been sitting around in my garage for a few months now and it's time to just talk about it take a look test it out. I thought the Genesis one was pretty good. I wasn't so sure with the uh, Street Fighter 2 audio but a lot of people had told me no that's just the way the game was. I'm not extremely familiar with every Genesis game but you know I played Street Fighter 2 on the Super Nintendo but yeah the Genesis one I thought was pretty good. Now is this one going to be pretty good as well? I don't know. Let's find out. So we will open it up see if there's anything different on the inside over the Genesis one. If you haven't watched the Genesis video on this device take a look. I guess the company that produced these prototypes they're you know not necessarily 100% that they're going to mass produce these. I guess they want to see if there's interest out there. So far it seemed like there's a lot of people interested in the Genesis version. So if you want to mod this into an arcade one up these things do come with if they do get sold like the little replacement board that plugs in so you plug it in there try to get a good angle there and then you have this uh that interfaces into the back of this so i'll show you those ports real quick there's the arcade one up side you just plug that into there swap that board you're pretty much good to go then we have hdmi for using this on our own monitor and then micro USB for power. And then the switch, I'm pretty sure just like the Genesis version, that's gonna be an aspect ratio switch. Now we'll open this up after I'm done testing a few games, see what it looks like on the inside. I haven't opened this one up yet, but I'd imagine it may look similar. And the cartridge slide did have a, a dust cover flap, but like the way they have this designed, the little hinges aren't that great. So it's not stuck on there well, but you know, it is what it is. So. This is our power. This is reset, uh, select and start, select and start. And this is the volume slider as we do have two built-in speakers. So what am I gonna test? I'm gonna test an original cartridge, see if that works. Test an EverDrive N8 Pro, see if this flash cart works, which this one, it's been kind of iffy with certain clone consoles, like the previous EverDrive N8 worked on a lot of clone consoles, but I've been hearing this one not so much, so we'll find out. Then we have a, uh, a Jay and Silent Bob Mall Brawl. Uh, this is, it's not a repro, it's an original cart, but with like a new board and whatnot. So this is like a newly produced game. I wanna see if this works. And then also, why the hell not? World Championships 1990. Uh, this is from Retro uh, USB. They make some cool stuff and I love having this uh, repro cart. You got little switches on there and everything. It says repro cart, it's blue can't pass this off as a $20,000 original or anything like that. I just like having this pretty cool little uh, game. So with these, it does come with an angle adapter. That way you could plug it in without the HDMI like facing down, that type of thing. So let's go ahead and get that plugged in. I just dropped the power. And those of you who have followed me for a while may be going like, hey dude, where's that little monitor at? That little 4K monitor that you were always using that I freaking absolutely loved. Well, if you see the side of this table, uh, like a dumbass, I accidentally pushed it off and it's just straight concrete. The freaking bitch broke. Pissing me off, man. It's a $300 monitor. I got to replace it. So I just got this little Acer. For the time being, I'm going to replace the other one because it came in handy. I get some good, you know, views of that thing. But okay, back to the point here. Let's put in a cartridge. Turtles, Manhattan Project. Get that in there see what to do. Power on. Hopefully the cartridge is in there well. And there you go. Yeah, that switch is uh, aspect ratio. Okay. And that first button, reset. So it will reset the uh, console. And I feel like the carts are in there snug, but I still wouldn't like, I mean, it ain't flopping around like the uh, NT Mini, but still, I mean, we don't touch our games when they're in the system. 
but I feel like if this is moving around a little bit, it's not really going to affect it. You know, this, this is the console itself. So you're going to be boom, boom, boom. You would hope not, right? Let's so far so good. I, mm, mm, mm. I should have done that test with the Genesis one, but I forgot. So with this being an NES clone console, you're not getting the crazy sharpness of like a high-end, uh, you know, retro USB AVS or the analog NT Mini Noir. You're not getting any of that kind of action. Oh, we'd have to select two players for this to be two players. We'll check the uh, second player side in a second. Like the uh, NES World Championships, you have to use second player side. So we'll see. I feel like if this went into production, it would need to have like some feet on the bottom because I'm having this one. I don't know. I don't think the Genesis one sl slid around as much, but I am having this slide around a little bit. But yeah, the image is a little soft. The colors are a little dull, um, but overall it doesn't look bad. I mean, I'm not seeing any distortions or anything crazy. I mean, to mod an arcade one up machine, this would be kind of cool. Some people were saying they hoped that they would make a Super Nintendo one. I, I think that would be pretty neat as well. Kind of makes me wish I still had like just an arcade one up machine, but I gave them all away. I, I kind of wish I still had one and just popped this thing in there or like one of them, maybe not this one, but okay. Let's get this cart out. That worked just fine. Um, they do have a Nintendo Switch one that we'll be doing another video on in the very near future. That one, is similar, like, you know, you gotta have a switch to plug into it, um, but it interfaces with an arcade one up or it can be used as just its own controller. So cool, Jay and Silent Bob appears to have booted up fine. I believe when this game went through testing, they, you know, they did test it on quite a few repros and whatnot, um, but obviously not this one. But you know, a lot of the uh, repros, or not repros, but clone consoles, um, you know, a lot of them are based on the same like system on a chip and a lot of them wind up being, you know, having the same issues or, or whatever. Some of them color wise might be a little better than others. This game was, oh my God, I love this game. Like this, this, this is one, it's on the switch too. You could, you could download this on the switch. Um, but this is one like, man, when I beat it, it just felt so great. But then it's like, oh, you got to play it again like on a like new game plus mode type thing. And holy crap was the game difficult. I'm like, I told the guys who made this game, I'm like, is it even possible? Is it even possible to beat it on the second playthrough? Because I've been struggling for months. And they said, sure can be, but I don't know. I guess I got to get back into it. But this, this cool game, nice to see this works on here. Let's, let's move on. Oh, there we go. All right, let's, let's, let's see. Oh, there we go. You have to use, okay, now I remember. You have to use the second player controller to start it and then the first player controller to play it. Okay, meh, you know. So I didn't really test the second player side. I tested the, uh, what you call it, the start button on the second player side. I forget, I forget because I haven't played this in a while. I, I just remember it was always that little, there was a quirk with the second player. But okay, that, that works. We're just getting that screen, so. Uh, the N8 Pro doesn't work. Maybe the other one would, the previous version. I don't know, I don't have one. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, it doesn't seem like uh, flash carts maybe a little iffy on this. All right, let's see if the second player side works before we open this thing up. Turtles 2 Arcade. So second player works. Yeah, sounds are a little, uh, a little off. Colors, it's always like, you know, the colors don't look bad, but there's so many different color palettes and different, you know, ways people remember these games depending on the TV you used and how you played and all that. Uh, I don't think the colors are necessarily bad. They might be off slightly, but yeah, I, I could tell with this game, the sound is slightly wrong. 
but it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so we tested a handful of games out. We'll wrap this video up by opening this thing up, taking a look at the insides. Okay, you have that little cable that plugs in for the power that's kind of slid it out, but there, there we go. Uh, looks very similar to the Sega Genesis one, the two encoder boards for the controls. We just got two buttons this time, it's NES. Our Sanwa style sticks that aren't bad. We have those eight, I saw somebody, I don't, I didn't notice it at first, I guess, but I saw somebody point out like, hey, they're using a eight way gate in there, an octagate. And yeah, they are, so that's that's pretty cool. Looking pretty clean in here for the most part. I know some people are like, ah, oh, this is like, you know, MDF type stuff. I think this is fine for the most part. You know, they, I wouldn't release it in this condition. Um, you know, a little chipping and whatnot on the melamine. But, you know, I think they have like different covers they put on these things. So, you know, I, I think it's a not, bad in the the condition that it's in but definitely some slight improvements if they went retail with this thing i think it's a neat idea let me know what you guys think but there we go the nes in an arcade stick clone console appreciate you guys watching hanging out with me on this one and with that said i will catch y'all next time peace out bye bye big ass thumb button your face blurry like a bigfoot and bye boom bye